Hello everyone, this is John from Tagonize. Today's tutorial will show you how easy it is to activate the community-aided lost and found feature built into Tagonize. All you have to do is simply log into your Tagonize account. When the dog registration form has loaded, be sure to select the right dog you want to activate the lost and found feature for by navigating to the dog name dropdown and selecting the name of the dog. Now, scroll to the bottom of the page and select the yellow I lost my dog button. A pop-up will appear describing how the feature works. Please read it. You also have the option to allow a finder to see your telephone number if they find your dog. If you want to allow this, simply tick the white box and click save. That's it. That's how easy it is to activate community-aided lost and found antagonize. Let's go outside and see if we can find a lost dog. Here we have my four-year-old Norwegian Elkhound Susie, and he's going to model in this video to show us exactly how you tap the Tagonize tag and how easy it is then to contact the owner and let them know that you've found their dog and it's ready to be reunited back with you. So here we go. I'll get up to the dog. I'm going to get my phone ready. Touch his tag. You can hear the sound. The phone had seen the tag and now his web page is going to open up and right away you see, did you find or see my last dog? So now I'll send the message to the owner and you'll see how everything after that works. When a finder in the community finds your dog and touches the Tagonize contactless dog tag, they can answer yes to this pop-up notification so that they can move forward in the process of informing you exactly how you can be reunited with your dog. I'm going to now tap yes. Here you can see another dialog box has opened up. There's a few pieces of information that you can read. And then on the bottom, there is the owner's phone number and mobile number so that they can be called and informed of the good news that their dog had been found. The finder, however, because of privacy rules, can decide whether or not they want to share their location. When they share their location, we attach it to Google Maps so that you have geolocation reference as to where your dog had been found. Let me type a message so that you can see what the email looks like when it's sent to the owner of the dog. Hello, I found your dog and he is doing well, period. He is not injured, but he is quite dehydrated. I am giving him lots of water, period. Feel free to call me on area code 914-226-2242. Period. My name is John. Now this message. I wonder why it took the way of the John, but we'll just add it back there. And now we will send the message. And as you can see, the message has been sent. Now, the owner is going to get an email with the information that the dog had been found, the phone number of the finder who can be called, and then a Google map showing where that message had taken place. This is the email that arrives to your inbox when a finder sends it. As you can see, we have the message here that someone has sent me a message about my last dog. Here's the message that I had earlier dictated. 
And now we can click on Google Maps and see the location. So it's very simple, very accurate, and it should give dog owners peace of mind that when somebody in the community finds your dog, they tap the tag and ice dog tag, they enter the information, they send you a message, you're going to get your dog back, hopefully, fairly soon. And that's all that's to it. It's very simple. Thanks again, everybody, for watching. And thank you for being a Tag and Ice customer. We appreciate your business. Have a great day.